What's up guys, Luna here and welcome back to another video. So it's been 10 days since I've actually made another video and it's probably going to be a little longer before I upload this just because of how much work I have to do for this. But basically today, as you guys saw last time, we're going to be doing a pillager farm. Now the things required in the pillager farm, link in the description, is an ocean, a pillager outpost, and a bunch of random crap. So yes, a, these a are lot. all of the resources we're going to need to build the actual farm. And then we're going to be using Paper 21's um, Pillager Outpost right here to get some raids. However, pill since Paper lives in, I think, Britain, um, our time zones don't really come together, so I'm going to be working with a little Wi-Fi for this. Oh, oh, you're over there. Oh, okay, okay, follow me, follow me. I think we have to head this way. No, we're going to have to find a place that's spawn-proofed. So, basically an ocean, and I'm pretty sure there's an yeah. ocean right here. Yeah, there's right like, yeah, the ocean right here. So the way we're going to have to build this, it has to be 75 blocks away from any spawnable area. So did you bring I mean, any like... extra blocks to build with? Ooh, no, I did not. Unfortunate. We have a bunch of stone brick, but since we're going to yeah. need all of it, I'm just going to do this. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna start. So first off, we're gonna have to make sure we're about... I'm gonna say 80 blocks away from anything else. So 1, yeah. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, guys, so yeah, now we're ready. We have here. our perfect area right here. I'm just going to toss out a few things. Oh, uh, you want the yep. suspicious stew? Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Yeah, let's see what effect take I get. <laughs> if I if I die, then I'm, I'm going to see you. <laughs> well, Weakness. Yay, I can't even <laughs> do no damage now with my fist. All right, let me toss out so the rest I... of this stuff. Okay, so yeah. first, let me pull out this. So this box right here, right? Not the one I'm... Ooh, not, nice. not that one. Okay, Ooh, oh, right, you pick take, that up. Take it, take it. Take Let me it, get the bed. Take. take. Alright, get out of yeah. here. Uh, let's okay. see. South is this way, so it goes like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. let's get rid of this stuff underneath of that. Ah, jeez. This is gonna be fun. Totally, I totally put my use on right here. I think. Eh. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna put these underneath of that, like that, and like that, mm -hmm. okay? All right, so basically how it works is we're gonna put that barrel right there This is where the villager is gonna get their job from and then yep. we're gonna surround the bed with a wall So it's gonna be something like this So that the villager doesn't get harassed
All right, well then, while he's working on that, I'm gonna start on my side of the time lapse. And I'll start building a little bit. Alright guys, so I muted myself for a moment, um, if you guys can see what's in my inventory, so Kurt, in an, another episode, in the Ender Dragon one, I got tagged, uh, I didn't really want to mention it, because if I mention it, people actually know, and the rules of the tag is you have to hold on to the tag for, you have to hold on to the tag thing for about, I, I forgot how long, three days? Not three days, an oh, entire episode, and since I got it during the ender dragon raid that means a day has passed our uh, episode has passed so i'm going to be using this and i'm going to be <laughs> hitting a little wi-fi with it we're going to see how he reacts okay. dude, i guess dude, my time lapse dude, is just meeting dude. the village actually one moment, gonna, one moment one moment one moment i'm going to have to do something hold on hold on, yeah. hold on hold on hold on is it okay if you send me the time lapse of your perspective yeah, where are you, like, where are you? Oh, come, come here like come, look at me yeah, look at me look at me yeah Ow. there you go Slap the piece of steak. Here, here you go. Take that. Take take that. My inventory is full. Hold up. Yes. Hab. Hag. Oh my god. <laughs> go, dude, should I put on the villager? Oh my god. Do you want me put on the villager? <laughs> that would be kind of stupid. Should I put on the no, villager? No, 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 no. That's the actual tag thing. Okay, so the rules with the tag thing are A, you have to hold on to it uh -huh. for an entire episode. <laughs> and you can't tag the person that just tagged you and they have to, they can't tag? and they cannot be afk who do i i can tell oh the everyone's afk <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I think, I think this is the main part of the farm done. So I'm gonna fly around a little and try to explain it to you guys as much as I can. So, basically, the way that this is, this is a pillager farm. Um, we're gonna start all the way in the prairie area yep. where we get kill a raider captain, and that gives us the bad omen effect. Then once we fly over here, um, once we get the villager into this box. The villager will count as a village, so once they once they get into here, then all we have to do is that triggers a raid, and then we head over here into this area, and then we head right up the soul sand area. So what this does is this forces the raiders to only spawn around me, and that means that since there are no other spawnable blocks in quite a big radius, um, they're forced to spawn right up here. Yeah, they're forced to spawn right up in here. And then they can't spawn on here because there are pressure plates that are forced to spawn in there. And since Ravagers are too big, they suffocate to death in there. Once we see the victory bar go away, we press the button. Um, which alerts the observers to turn off the redstone torch right there. That opens this up and then that sends them down into the water pit. 
uh, in here, and that pushes them down into that area right there, into the hopper area, and that kills them. So now, I think all we have to do is get this guy into the box, and then we can go ahead and try yeah, it out. I, I put back. Oh, oh back. here we go, here we go, Captain. You got a bad omen? No, I'm about to. Okay, good. Is there any place to be AFK go, on? Go, I, got no? it, I, got it, I got it. Well, not AFK. Do we like stand? Yo, I can I can see our farm from the pillager outpost because it's so high. Let's see oh, if this works. They should. Oh, they okay, should. Yeah. Let's see if this works. Oh. Huh. Just, oh. <laughs> stop. They're Boy. attacking me. Are they down They're there? They're attacking me. They're down here. No, How? they jumped down. They jumped my down. Bro. Where's my sword? Should be in there. Um, I oh, think no, you I have, have, I think I you have, have my sword. How? Uh, I'm going up. I'm going up. This man's attacking me. How though? He oh, jumped they, down. There's no way that they actually spawned down. He jumped down. From where? Many troubleshooting attempts later. Please, please. Do I have to go up oh. there? Just tell me if they start falling. There we go. There we go. No, of the village. Okay, okay, now we just have to wait until that village thing, uh, that thing disappears. Yeah, uh, let me see. 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 Who should I give it to? I can't give it to you. I have to give it to Yo, I just saw a totem. Bag. I just saw a totem. Saw a totem? And I got an emerald as well. So let me get rid of this guy. That That's should be the last guy. And here's what's going to happen. Boosh. A badge. Raid. And then we come back up. Wait, I can't I can't open the chest. Wait, where do these hoppers go? Oh, let me just put my crossbows I got in there. And then if uh, you want, you can try it right now. Alright, so now with that part out of the way, I'm going to leave these guys up there because I don't want to get battle them again. And let's go on to our second order of business. So for the rest of today, what I'm going to be working on is I want to get an actual shop in. So we're going to get in the district uh, emerald shop and pretty much it's a pillager shop because, well, this thing ha makes a lot of emeralds and everyone wants emeralds. So actually, I'm, I'm just going to look in here. It's kind of fun just to see everyone dying. Hi there. Oh, I'm out. Yeah, that hurt. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead, head back to my base, and I'm going to figure out, um, what the, yeah, I'm going to make a extra shovel. I'm going to get a little bit of gravel, and right after that, I'm going to head back so we can start working on getting some concrete. All right, guys, so I have everything I need to actually start work on the farm. So I'm not the farm, the shop. So I'm going to go ahead to sleep, and right after this, I'm going to go set up the farm, and that's going to be in the, the end of the video. But before the end of the video, I'm going to be re-rolling to see what I'm going to be doing for the next episode. So, I think they set up this area over here so that there's a path. So looking at the path right now, looks like this area is taken, this area over here is taken. But this area turns a sharp corner right here. It also extends a little over here, so I'm thinking I can probably set mine up right here, actually. Mm, yeah, I think I'll just have mine right up right here. So, but I have the actual build pulled up in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead, put this right down there. And I guess let's just start work.
So like I said, once I get this one and I put it up there, this is pretty much the entire shop done. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my other thing and in here, I'm gonna try to remember what I put. So, we have in here, emeralds. Emeralds will be one stack for four diamonds. Now, like, I think that's a decent deal, especially for a lot of people who have uh, villagers nowadays. I'll change it later if it's too much. Totems of Undying. I put one. Uh, one for two diamonds. I, actually, that might be a bit much. I'll just put one diamond. And finally, we have our cross bows and arrows so this can also come from my skeleton farm crossbow would be three for one diamond and arrows is three stacks one diamond there we go so this is our little shop later on on the top here i want to add a few pillagers uh, but aside from that yeah guys um this is our little bit of a video so, today I'd say we did quite a bit of stuff. Quick recap, we made our own pillager farm all the way in the corner of this world with little Wi-Fi. And aside from that, I came over here and I built my little bit of a illager farm, illager shop. So, we finally have our first shop in here. I'm going to label it very soon. And yeah, the server has just begun. But before we do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and do our spinny thingy. I have everything except for 1.14 in here because that's what we got for pillager farm. So on three, one, two, three. And this is what we're going to be working on in the next video. A 1.6 farm. All right, let's see. 1.6 right here. We're going to be working on a passive mob farm. All right, that's going to be a decently big challenge. I'm going to need a lot of dirt, obviously. And that might, that one might be a bit difficult, but I'm up for the challenge. So yeah. That's what we're going to be working on for the next episode. I will be gone again for another... How to say? I think I'll be gone for another 10, 10, 15 days. So, probably won't get another video out for, for pretty long. Yeah, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do anything else. Prepare for my next videos. But it's been a lot of fun getting back into the Critcraft server after a weeks of camp. So, stay with me for a while. I'm going to try to keep this series entertaining, and yeah, without any further ado, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Rabbit Boy out.